Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Talladega Super Speedway for the Wishbone Attack Memorial to Talladega 100. This is going to be race number 36 in the More Freedom Series, season four. And this is the final race of the season here. And the points race between the top two is very close. So let's go through your current top 10. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Seventh will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Eighth will be the 999 of Deviant. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings as well. MBR still has a lead over second place, Douche Motorsports. Third's going to be the Amish Buggy Racing. Fourth will be Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at your points. Now, before we jump into the race, let's go through and let's get a good uh, uh, side-the-track interview with your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone. We're sitting down here with Mudbone, the driver of the double zero car for Amish Buggy Racing. And we are going into race number 36 of the More Freedom Series season four, which is the Wishbone Attack Memorial Talladega 100. And for those that don't know at home, Mudbone, it, uh, Wishbone Attack was Mudbone's father which we lost a couple of years ago. Um, what would it mean for you to a either win this race or b win both the race and the championship here today? I think it'd be a whole heck of a lot sweeter than the uh, triple win at Daytona. I think that that'd be more important to me, especially being the memorial to the uh, the old man. I, I'm inclined to agree with you there. It would be an awesome way to finish off your season. Uh, speaking of that triple win at Daytona, I just I was thinking about this earlier today, and I feel like you're now becoming like the Dale Earnhardt of the More Freedom series with your just your restrictor plate wins. What 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 do you feel like? Like what are you, what are you going into this race? Another restrictor plate, and you think you. You're starting, let's see, where are you starting at today? You are, to, yeah, you're starting in the, some place in the point, or in the in the field today. You're, because <laughs> I have that up. You're starting 23rd today. Starting 23rd well, today. All in, all, usually, uh, starting in the back of the pack seems to uh, be beneficial to me anyway. I mean, the last two Daytona races, I think I started dead last. Yeah. And ended up. First yeah. place, Gasgate. Let's go. Yeah, your <laughs> your 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 opponent for the race. Really, he's just kind of like your only opponent for the race this time around. Is the Adam B five thousand? He's starting twenty eighth today, so he's going to be starting back behind you. Uh, what I'm concerned about where is where is the known record Fuller than you starting at? Oh, Fuller uh, is starting in the twelfth position today, so he'll be in front of you. All right, today, well, we're so. good then. As long as we can, <laughs> I mean, the it is. Off of them on the way a, by, we'll be all right. It is a restrictor plate <laughs> track, so we got to worry about that big one. Are right, what do you? Yeah. Are you worried about the big one? I know that we don't normally have those, but it's always a possibility here at Talladega, just because they're. Yeah. You guys are going you know, so fast. Yeah, and with the with the big one, shout out Pistol Pete. That's one we're gonna have to watch out for in that big one. Triple six pistol Pete. He ain't had no good luck this year with the uh the big ones. So Yeah, know, and oddly <laughs> oddly enough, you know, Pistol Pete looking at the starting order is actually starting twenty first, so he'll be up in front of you. Uh wow. actually like right in front of you on the track this this time around. So at least you're gonna you're gonna have some drafting help there trying to get yeah, to the front. Drive, drive straight, bud. I'm pushing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um so Amish Buggy Racing this season has had an amazing season, and a lot of that is due to them just, you basically, I mean, your back has to hurt because I feel like uh, you've been carrying the team this year. And let's let's talk about those five wins. That is the most wins in a season by any driver in the More Freedom Series. 
uh, how do you feel about those five wins that you had? Yeah, we just put the pedal to the metal, race home, praise Dell. That's what we do. I mean, it, carry on. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that. And um, I'm hoping, you know, like I, I'm hoping for a good race for Amish buggy racing. You guys are currently running third in the team points. You're not, you're not mm. in any position right now to win. I think that's going to be locked up by NBR, but douche motorsports definitely has an outside chance here today to, to win the uh, team points. But what it what for the future for Amish buggy racing? I know, you know, you probably haven't talked to Seabass and super snake who are kind of like the car owner sort of deal over there. But what are you guys thinking for the future over there for Amish buggy racing? I'm, I'm thinking we're going to keep on driving the way we have been. Um, any plans to add any new drivers for it? Because you got one spot. Uh, Technically, you got, got one spot I got, open. I got one guy. I think we're going to, we might add to the team next year. Yeah. So you uh, thinking about going to six full-time drivers for next year. Huh? Uh, and, and that, you know, that's, that's to, to compete with NBR. Yeah. NBR especially and, even douche motorsports who and douche motorsports. Yeah. So that's we'll it. see if, we'll see if you guys can do that for next season. And fingers crossed. I I agree. You know, it's great to see it's it's great to talk to you and thank you so much for sitting down and 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 talking to me before the race and hopefully 44 points man. It's it's points. nail biter right now. It, it, it quit biting my nails. Dude. <laughs> no, I'm just well, I appreciate yeah, I look it. Forward. I look forward to it. It'll be fun either way as long as we have fun. That's all I care about. All right. <laughs> I want to thank Mudbone for that, sitting down to do that interview with me. And uh, I'm looking forward to this race. Uh, the crowd is already filed in here. And I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Wishbone Attack Memorial da Talladega 100. In fitting fashion, starting on the pole is the 29 of Wishbone Attack. And on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting third will be the 203 of Signs. And on his outside, the 95 of Zed Brenna. Starting fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. And on her outside, the 211 of Hogs. Starting seventh will be the 777 of Seabass. And on his outside, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting ninth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So looking at the starting lineup again, Mudbone starting at 23rd here today and Adam B5000 starting 28th. JTM, who again, not in the running for the championship, will be starting 26th today. So those are your top three end points. Uh, we're going to see if Mudbone can do anything to get towards the front. You know, he's just got to finish in front of Adam at this point in the season to just put a stamp on his championship. I know he's going to try to get a win here today. Try to get win number six of the season, which is, you know, he's already at the record of five wins of the season. So I know getting that sixth win would be amazing for him just to put a stamp on the championship. Like G3 did last year in this race. She won this race, which won her the championship last year over Duber and Nico. So getting that win would be amazing for him, uh, especially here in the Wishbone Attack Memorial Race, which Wishbone Attack Mudbone's father. So, yeah, we're hoping for a great race here today. Maybe, hopefully, 38 laps of green flag action as they bring us down to the start-finish line. The 29 of Wishbone Attack will be leading the way here today at Talladega. Slowly through the tri-oval. Again, the start-finish line after the uh, after pit road here. There, green flag is out. We're underway for the Talladega 100 here at the Talladega Super Speedway. Wishbone attack already. He's staying down at the bottom with Duber on the outside and followed right hit behind Duber's the 95 of Zed Brunna. That 203 of Signs pushing the 29 of Wishbone Attack along with the 420 of Queen of Hearts creeping up behind one, and on her outside. Her teammate, 
the 13 of King of the Aces and the 95 is that Brenna Wishbone sliding up into the high line right there. As they work down the back stretch, he's in front of the 203 of Signs and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So he is kind of playing both lanes right there as Duber drops down to the bottom in front of the 20 or behind the 29. So the 29, 329, 203 right here. As they line up nose to the tail on the bottom line, the 329 of Heck of a Duber right there in front of the 203 of Signs and the 23 of Fuller than you. It's three wide right now. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as the 203 of Signs drops underneath the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Here comes the 23 of Fuller than you as we head off a of turn two. Down the back stretch, we got an accident. It looks like it's going to involve the 20 of Adam B5000. This might be an awesome. It, I, Adam's spinning out of control here. So Adam B5000, second place in points, involved in an early race caution here on lap number two. As the race back to the to the yellow flag is insane as the 29 of wishbone attacks leading the way as the 07 of douche baggins might be second place here he will be second place again it might be heartbreak for the 20 of adam b5000 we see that damage on the right hand side of his car so adam currently running in the last position now Looks like it might have involved the 211 of Hogs, the 33 of Harvey Jones as well. You can see front end damage, right side damage on that 20 of Adam B5000. Uh, this could be great for the double zero of Mudbone, who currently runs in the 13th position. We do have somebody in the pits. That is the three of Geek Girl Games. As we see, the 72 of Duchess was down to the inside right there. So Duchess has damage to the front of her car. I don't know if that might be a secondary issue after the caution flag. So getting slowed down from 200 miles an hour does sometimes come with wild, crazy shenanigans happening. As we'll jump back up here to the front of this field with the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Looks like everybody might be, ta almost everybody's probably going to be takers for pit road early here as we do see damage on the right side of the 72 at Duchess. We're going to see what Wishbone does and the Dunkin' Donuts dodge for MBR. He's still your leader again as we see the three of Geek Girl Games on, in, pit, in the pits. So we might have a few... Few incidences on the track that we have to look at here in just a second as we see Duchess into her pits. And oh, Duchess wheeling her behind the wall. Duchess is out of this race. So, fourth place in points. The 72 of Duchess for Douche Motorsports out of this race here at Talladega for the final finale of the season. As we see the 13 of King of the Aces with uh, wheeling 13 of King of the Aces can't talk the 13 of king of the aces is being wheeled behind the wall as well so coda out of this race as a result of what happened here today let's go it looked like it was just fuel only as i was watching all these people go out of the race so let's bring up let's let's go and see what brought out that caution flag well this caution flag is actually going to be brought out by the 13 of king of the aces i'm not sure what happens here it looks like he might He's either up in the marbles up there or he loses a right front tire. Watch what happens here. You saw Coda bounce off the wall and then come down and hit KFB and then send all these cars spinning. So let's get another view of that from the roof cam on the 25 at JTM. And from the roof cam on the 88 of NM. So those out of the race as a result of that caution flag are going to be 
the 23 of Fuller Than You, the 72 of Duchess, the 3 of Geek Girl Games, the 660 of Garrett Miller, the 10 of Scooter, and the 13 of King of the Aces. Let's actually go back real fast and see what happened to Duchess and G3 and possibly the 660 and the 10. Well, we're going to watch some crazy action here with the 3 of Geek Girl Games and the 72 of Duchess. Let's see this happen. So you saw that melee after coming to the start-finish line as they were trying to get slowed down. Duchess gets into the right rear of the three of Geek Girl Games and sends her into the wall involving herself, Duchess, Fuller. Nico was involved in that. We did see um, Scooter was involved. King of the Aces, uh, he, he, was at, sec he was involved after... <laughs> He was already involved in the first caution. And then I think there was a couple other folks in there, but coming out unscathed, I think, is the double zero of Mudbone. We're checking in on him. He's currently in the 10th. So let's quickly go through your current top 10. Uh, still leading the race right now is the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Second's going to be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Third will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Fourth will be the 51 of AJM. Fifth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Sixth will be the 999 of Deviant. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Ninth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. And rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. Let's check in on the back of this field as we do see left hand side damage on that 96 of Nico as they're split in four of the start right now. Mudbone will get that car fired and get, get it going. He slows the, the inside line, slows down a little bit so the outside line can do the split. But they have now two by two here. And we're going to see if Nico, KFB, and Adam have anything or if they've got a lot of damage to where they can't, you know, they're going to be falling back. And again, tough break again for the 96 of Nico. He, has the, he had the same problem last season here at Talladega going for the championship win and involved in cautions, which put him out of the race and out of the ability to win the championship. Wishbone leading us down to take the green flag here. Green flag's out. We're back underway here at Talladega. And it looks like the 07 of Douchebaggin is going to get a little bit of a jump right there to the outside of the 29 of Wishbone attack. The 666 of Pistol Peach trying to push Wishbone to the front of this field as the 51 of AJM works to the outside of his teammate, the 29 of Wishbone attack. Here comes the 666 and the pis of Pistol Pete and the 34 of Super Snake. Two Amish buggy racing vehicles working together right now as we got it four wide behind with your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone on the outside right now. So Mudbone precariously on the outside of a three wide battle right now between the 329. Oh, is Deviant up into the marbles right now? So Deviant's into the marbles through one and two. He is able to hold it off the wall as we still have four wide right now. So Deviant kind of losing the draft. I'm not sure if his tires are going down or what the deal is right there, but we're going to jump back up to the front of this field as the 07 of Douche Baggins leads the way with the 666 of Pistol Pete right behind, but it looks like the 300 of Resemble and the 25 of JTM working down to the inside right now on the 666 of Pistol Pete. JTM way down to the bottom of the track. He's going to make it three wide with the 300 of Resemble and the 666 of Pistol Pete. As Douchebaggin still leads the way, DB leads the way over the 25 of JTM and the 95 of Zed Brunna and the 211 of Hogs. Zed, oh, very, oh my goodness, JTM jumping down to the inside. They're so close as he is going to lead a lap here today at Talladega. So the 25 of JTM who started way back in 26 has now put his car, that Sonic Dodge, into the lead for MBR. JTM is looking for a race win three in a row here in the More Freedom Series and four in a row overall as we have the 34 of Super Snake and the 29 of, and the 329 of Heck of a Duber around. Watching for the yellow flag if we're going to get it as the 11, the, oh, goodness. 
The 11, the 88, and the double zero of Mudbone were four wide there for just a second. Getting up high into those marbles is precarious as we're not getting a yellow flag. So those cars spun. No yellow flag happening right now as the 999 of Deviant down to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone as Mudbone works into the second position. As the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days makes it three wide. With the double zero of Mudbone and the 999 of Deviant, JTM still leads away here at Talladega. As we do see the 34 of Super Snake is way off the pace as we got NM is around. The 29 of Wishbone Attack around. So we're going to see if we get a yellow flag here. As the 25 of JTM still leads the way. No yellow flag, no yellow flag as the 88 is around. He's coming back out onto the track. I'm going to try to catch up to the 29, a wishbone attack. Doesn't I don't know if he's damaged or not, but the two, the 11 of TC Roberts sure is, and so is the 51 of AJM. As the 25 of JTM still leads the way right now, so these cars are getting four wide. They're getting way up into the marbles, and as they come off the turn they're bouncing off the wall because they lose the grip so four wide crazy four wide battling is resulting in multiple spins but the governing body not throwing the caution flags as we see the triple seven of Seabass down to the inside of the 25 of JTM this may be a battle a war of attrition here today in the More Freedom Series as Seabass down to the inside of the 25. Here comes Seabass's teammate, the double zero Mudbone. Mudbone trying to work up to the top line with the 25 of JTM. He goes three wide with the 799 and the 211 of Hogs. So Seabass down to the inside of the 25 of JTM. JTM kind of holding his own right there in the middle line with the double zero Mudbone and the 95 of Zed Brunna pushing along, but it looks like the triple seven of Seabass is able to take away the lead and he slides up in front of 25 of JTM, back, back into front of the 799 of Mike Check. So Mike Check in uh, the Thirsty Camp, ooh, very, very close to the 25 of JTM. They almost bumped there going into the turn. Mudbone way high off of turn four right now. Seabass leads the way here at Talladega as we hit, hit lap number 12. Looks like JTM may have bumped the wall a little bit there. Three wide battles as the seven, the triple seven of Seabass leads away. The three, five, six of Ice Cream some days down to the inside right now. She's working to the back bumper of the triple seven of Seabass. Here comes the eight of Moon Bunny and the two eleven of Hogs for Douche Motorsports. As we do see the double zero. Oh, the ninety five is sliding. The ninety five is sliding here. So contact with the 95 and another driver. So Zed almost loses it there. We'll have to check and see if he's able to get back on the track or not. And that might have been involved with, it looks like we have pit stops happening right now. Pit stops happening here at Talladega. Here on lap number 13, looks like we'll probably have at least one more stop to go as the 666 of Pistol Pete works into the second position. So Zed is able to get back out on the track. The 95, we're going to check on him here. So Zed back out on the track. Doesn't look like he's too worse for wear. As Pistol Pete working to the front of this field around his teammate, the 777 of Seabass, he's down to the inside. We're going to see if these two cars pit this time around as they head into turn three, followed closely by the 211 of Hogs. This is going to get a great draft on the 666 of Pistol Pete. So Seabass... Looks like he try, might try to work down to the inside. He might be hung out to dry here. Nope, he's off the, he's out of the gas. He is coming into the pits. So the rest of the front pack now into the pits here at Talladega. This might be the remaining people in the that haven't pitted yet as we watch the 666 of Pistol Pete leading us down. As we do see, the 34 of Super Snake is a lap down. The 13, or we see the 51 of AJM on pit road getting repairs. He's down and away. Right, left side tires for Pistol Pete. Fuel going in to the Advanced Auto Parts Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing. 
Hogs is down. So Pistol Pete may potentially be your leader after these pit stops. He is being shown in the lead right now as, again, the pit road is, um, or the start finish line is after pit road. So we're going to see if anybody can catch up to the back. I and mean, we do see the 356 of Ice Cream some days working around the outside of the 25 of JTM as well as the 8 of Moon Bunny. So Moon Bunny's trying to get around JTM right here. Here comes the double zero of Mudbone as well. So just checking in on the 20 of Adam B5000. He currently runs 17th on the day. So Pistol Pete is your leader right now. We'll go through your top 10 in just a second. They're going to catch up to him in a spectacular fashion in just a moment because they're going to be a lot faster than the 666. And I would say, you know, miles per hour faster, probably like 10 miles per hour faster. As we see the 211 getting passed by several drivers. So Douche Motorsports is coming alive right here as they got, I think, three drivers in the top 10 right now. Pistol Pete just chilling right now. Out here in front. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 666 of Pistol Pete. Second's going to be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Third will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Fourth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fifth will be the 211 of Hogs. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 777 of Seabass. Eighth will be the double zero Mudbone. Ninth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. And I think 10th will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Something about like that. As they do catch up to the 666 of Pistol Pete. So Pete into the middle here. He is going to get some draft help by the 356 of Ice Cream some days. They're going to try to get work to the inside of the 07 DB. Able to jump down to the inside line right there in front of the 666. They're going to catch up in short, a uh, short amount of time to the 11 of TC Roberts. TC off the pace after that caution, or not a caution, but that incident on the track, which resulted in no caution. Um, and I am showing everybody who is currently in the race is still on the lead lap, but that's going to be, that's not going to be the case here in just a second as they work around the 11 of TC Roberts, work to the high side. He stays down low. As JTM works down to his inside, they're going to kind of, are they going to split him? What are they going to do here? JTM unsure. Moon Bunny gets down to the inside. So TC down to the bottom of the track. JTM working high now and see if he can get around. He had to slow down for the 11 of TC Roberts, and that's going to be... TC's kind of catching up to the draft right now, so maybe his car isn't as bad as one would think. JTM's going to let Moon Bunny go around, and then he is going to get down to the inside of the 11 here. So solidly in the top 10 right now is the double zero of Mudbone with Adam B5000 currently running 19th on the day. This is probably, I mean, right now, Right now, knock on wood. Knock on, ooh, oh my goodness. His teammate, the 666 of Pistol Pete, jumps down right there in front of him. So Pete is going for win number one this season and is doing what he can right now as that was an amazing, amazing jump down to the inside in front of his teammate, the double zero of Mudbone. So we've got three Amish buggy racing cars right here in the top 10. The 666, the double zero, and the triple seven. Checking to see as we watch the 666 of Pistol Pete with help by the double zero of Mudbone works down to the inside of the zero seven of Douche Baggins as they work off a of turn two here. Down the back stretch, it is almost three wide. As we see him head towards turn three. So Mudbone right there to the back bumper of his teammate, the 666. 
and he is going to try to push up to possibly lead a lap. Mudbone hasn't led a lap here today. Not that he needs it right now, but it would be it would be nice to get those extra five bonus points. Adam hasn't led a lap either. But getting a win here in the final race of the season would put just a, a huge, it would just be an amazing feat for that double zero and uh, Amish buggy racing as they work towards a championship here in the more freedom series. So Mudbone falls back in line behind the 211 of Hogs. We're going to check in on the 25 and the eight as they're trying to draft up to the first pack right now. So Hogs down to the inside of the 07 is car owner. Almost making it down to the inside. Didn't have enough draft as we see the 356 of Ice Cream someday is working out to the point right now. So I believe Ice Cream is going for win number four this season. She's got two road course victories, and I believe she won at one of the short tracks. She may, it may have been North Wilkesboro. So she's working on win number four this season. I think DB may be working on win number one right now, one or, one or two. But we do see that double zero of Mudbone pushing along the 211 of Hawks, and here comes the 25 of JTM. He's going to have a massive run on the double zero of Mudbone as they head down towards turn three. He works in behind the double zero right here as they work into the turn. DB with a great lead on all of these cars. Cup, I would say great lead, and that's only like two or three car lengths right now. But as soon as the 211 gets that draft on the 07, they're going to work towards the front. But no, the double zero of Mudbone, who just, he's trying his best, and JTM just doesn't want to go with him. JTM down to the inside of the double zero right here. Again, JTM going for four in a row. As he works down to the inside of the double zero of Mudbone, I'm going to say we're probably within a handful of laps of pit stops here. As we see JTM trying to get a draft on the 07 of Douche Baggins as they work down the backstretch, it looks like they're going to catch up to the 96 of Nico in the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So we're going to see if JTM can uh, not get stuck behind somebody again this time around as the 07. As I think Moon Bunny's coming into the pits here. It looks like Moon Bunny is into the pits for her final stop. I'm not sure if JTM was trying to get down there or not. He's very slow right now. We're going to see if he gets back on the gas. And it might just be the draft between these other cars. I know he, I saw him off the gas there for a second, and he might have been trying to get down to the pits. So hopefully that 25 at JTM isn't out of fuel here. As DB still leads the way here at Talladega, and it's getting spicy here in the first pack as we did see Moon Bunny drop in. So Mudbone on the outside right here as they head towards turn four. Looks like Pistol Pete's into the pits. So next group is in, led by the double zero of Mudbone there. 25 at JTM. His car is still running. He's just lost the draft of those two front cars. I think, he, again, he had to slow down as those cars were getting into the pits. We're going to go in to the roof cam here. So car is still running is at 25 at JTM as the 07 and the 777. Catching up to the back of second place in points, the 20 of Adam B5000, about ready to put him a lap down. We're checking in on that 20 of Adam B5000. He has pitted twice. Maybe No, he's pitted three times, so he's probably actually no. They were just catching up to the back of him, so they're about to put the 20 of Adam B5000 a lap down as JTM does catch up to him here. We'll keep an eye on the 07 of Douche Baggins, your current leader, and DB trying to win one for Douche Motorsports and uh, get those all-important team points as they run 52 points back from MBR. Adam B5000 down and away. JTM down and away. Seven ninety nine of Mike check with a little bit of bump on the 07 right there. 
So JTM's got the hammer down as DB the first out of this group. And Seabass out second, JTM out third. We're going to see where everybody else comes into play. Here comes the 666 and the, well, that's the 33 and the 34. There's the 666. Looks like they're going to put Wishbone Attack a lap down here. So Pistol Pete, oh, we got Wild Crate, Seabass way down under the yellow line right here. So Seabass jumps underneath the yellow line to go around the 25 at JTM. I'm not sure if JTM's down on cylinders or power or what's going on right now, but he definitely is, I don't feel like he's as fast as these other cars, we're going to see if he can get a little bit of draft help by the 666 of Pistol Peep. Maybe get that car wound up a little bit. He is work, trying to work down to the inside of the 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake is off the pace, and I think JTM is just trying to play, you know, he's maybe he's just driving defensively right now as we have 11 laps to go. And oddly enough, fastest lap of the day is by the 25 at JTM at 197.001 miles per hour. So not sure if he's down on power or what's going on with that 25, but let's jump back up here to the front of the field as I believe the 777 of Seabass will take over the lead here from the 07. The douche baggins as they work to catch up to the back of the 51 of AJM and put him a lap down here. So Seabass to the back bumper of the 51. AJM going to slide to the high line. He's going to let that triple seven go down low. So again, AJM, you saw that he had he was involved in a caution. I don't even know if he was involved in a caution, but he definitely was involved in one of the spins. And he uh, off the pace a little bit here. And Wishbone Attack also was involved in one of those spins. And is off, I don't know that he's off the pace, but he was just involved in the spin as we see the double zero Mudbone. Now back in behind the eight of Moon Bunny right here. So Mudbone is working into the third position and JTM must have got his car issues figured out as he was trying to work underneath the double zero of Mudbone as they're about to catch up to the 88 of NM who is off the pace. So Seabass works to the high line. He's going to go around NM on the outside right here. See if he gets a run off of turn two, able to make that pass. He lost that draft help. Moon Bunny looks like she might be going high. JTM not sure where to go here with about nine laps to go. So Seabass still your leader here as they try to work around the 88 of NM who may, he may be back. His car may be okay. Uh, we're going to he is now a lap down here. Next car in line to be put a lap down is going to be the 329 of Hecka Vaduber, who's in the turn in front of these drivers. As we see it four wide right now with the 88 of NM, the 666 of Pistol Pete on the bottom with the 07 of Douche Baggins. So every time he, I feel like every time Mudbone gets close to the front, he gets shoved to the middle and gets pushed back. I, again, he, I, he is in a great position right now to win this championship he just has to stay out of trouble and he's got it in the bag but there's a lot of battling up here at the front for position number one as we see it three wide right now as pistol pete does come down a little bit right there in front of the zero seven so db trying to work himself back into the top position as pistol pete on the outside with his two teammates as they both drop down to the inside Mudbone works down to the inside of the triple seven. So Mudbone now working into the second position underneath the zero seven as Pistol Pete still leads the way here at Talladega with about eight laps to go. So Mudbone finally into the second position. We're going to see if he can get a little bit of draft here, if he's going to make it to the down the back stretch without Seabass trying to go around him. So Seabass does stay down to the inside. He's going to push 
The, zero, the double zero up as three Amish buggy racing vehicles lead the way here at Talladega with the 666 on the point, the triple seven behind, and the double zero in third. Battle for the race win, battle for the championship rages on here at Talladega with Pistol Pete in the lead. Followed behind him is the triple seven of Seabass. Battle for third is going to be between the 07 and the double zero as Mudbone jumps down in front of the 88 of NM and the 25 of JTM trying to get pushed to the front. As JTM down to the inside of his teammate, the 88 of NM, NM off. He's, he's one lap down right now. Last car, he's the first car one lap down right now as JTM is, again, looking for another three in a row here in the More Freedom Series, four in a row overall. I just, I don't know, as Mudbone into the pits. So I'm not, sh I think that is a planned pit stops with six laps to go. So six laps to go here in the More Freedom Series. One pit stop to go for all these drivers. Your leader, the 666 of Pistol Pete, DB second, Seabass third, JTM in the fourth position. Here comes the eight of Moon Bunny as JTM and Moon Bunny have a great draft going right now. As we see the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Again, Ice Cream looking for win number four. Moon Bunny looking for win number five to tie Mudbone for the most wins in a season. We're going to see if all these cars jump down and into the pits. They are not. So Seabass trying to work to the front of this field. Late stages of this race, the leader seems to be the one, I mean, the leader seems to be able to keep his car, his or her car, out in front of the, of the field as they're about ready to put the 11 of T.C. Roberts another lap down here. So Seabass, go, they're going to split T.C. As T.C. jumps up in front of the Ada Moon Bunny. 25 of JTM down to the inside. He's around safely. Moon Bunny's going to drop in behind DB maybe. We're going to check to see if any of these drivers come into the pits. They're about to catch up to the 29 of Wishbone Attack, who I believe was into the pits a few minutes ago as we see Pistol Pete stay, or is in, and the 777 of Seabass is staying out. He's right there behind. As still your leader is the 777 of Seabass. As they work behind the 29 of Wishbone Attack here. JTM down to the inside of his teammate, the 29. That's, they're actually putting Wishbone another lap down here. So I believe he will be two laps down at the moment. As JTM works in behind the 777 of Seabass, I'm assuming they're going to be... I'm assuming there's going to be a pit stop by these two drivers with three laps to go. I don't know if they have enough fuel to make it to the end, but there is the possibility that they're going to try to make it to the end as we watch them. They're both into the pits here, so Wishbone Attack gets one lap back. We're going to follow Seabass as he works through the pits with the 25 of JTM. JTM is going to have a little bit of help from his teammate, the 88 of NM. Again, TC Roberts off the pace with damage to, the, to his car. JTM in. Looks like it is going to be fuel only for the 25. He's down and or he's not. He's already he was already down. He is away. So we're going to see what the triple seven does here. It is going to be fuel only for the triple seven of Seabass. We're going to see how much they they got. Only got to put a little bit in. They only got to put in enough for three three laps. So Seabass comes out and cuts off the 25 of JTM. Great strategy, great play by the triple seven of Seabass. He cuts off. The 25 at JTM. JTM has to get on the brakes. That could be that could mean the difference between winning this race and finishing in second as we watch the 666 at Pistol Pete lapping here. He's going to catch up to the 25 at JTM. Your leader is most likely the triple seven of Seabass right now. With about two laps to go here at Talladega. Third place looks like it is potentially the 25 of JTM as we watch the 07 
of Douchebaggins about ready to catch up to the 25. So Pistol Pete with a good run on the 777 of Seabass. It looks like Pete is going to work around the outside. He's going to take over the lead from the 777 here. So Amish Buggy Racing, one and two right now with the 666 and the 777. Your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, currently in the sixth position. So two laps to go here at Talladega. Your leader, the 666 of Pistol Pete. Second place is going to be the 777 of Seabass. Third will be the 25 of JTM. And fourth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. So DB trying to catch up to the 25 at JTM. They are way too far back. I think your battle for the win is going to come between the 777 of Seabass and the 666 of Pistol Pete as Seabass works down to the inside through the tri-oval. They're going to get the white flag. One lap to go here at Talladega to settle this race, to settle the championship as they are caught behind the 544 of Frederick Winklevom and the 96 of Nico. Seabass going to work down to the inside. Pistol Pete is going to try to make it possibly three wide here. Seabass runs him up. Here comes the 96 of Nico. They work into three and four. The 777 of Seabass with a little bit of a lead here on the 666 of Pistol Pete. <clears throat> Off of turn four, here comes... The 777 of Seabass, he's got a little bit of a lead over the 666 of Pistol Pete as they work towards the trioval again. They've got to go all the way to the end of the trioval into Pit Road wall or into Pit Road as I think your winner here today for the Wishbone Attack Memorial, Talladega 100, the 777 of Seabass. Amazing race here today as Seabass is going to win the race here at Talladega second in, in, in amazing fashion. But let's go through, let's quickly go through your, your finishing top 10. Your winner is the 777 of Seabass. Second's going to be the 666 of Pistol Pete. Third will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Sixth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Seventh will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Eighth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Ninth will be the 211 of Hogs. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So that's a look at your finishing order here today for this Talladega 100. Um, no race next week. This was the season finale for the More Freedom Series. And we will be back again. And I believe February or March, something like that. But let's take a look at your all important final points. Your points leader and winner of season four is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. Sixth will be the 999 of Deviant. Seventh will be the 96 of Nico. Eighth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Ninth will be the 799 of Mike Check. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 11 of TC Roberts. So that's a look at your finishing standings for the points. Let's jump into your team and chassis standings. And winning the points championship four years in a row will be MBR. Second's going to be Douche Motorsports. Third will be Amish Buggy Racing. Fourth will be Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points. Let's jump in now. Let's go trackside to get an interview with your season four champion, the Double Zero of Mudbone. All right, folks, we're sitting down here at the end of this race with your More Freedom Series Season 4 champion, the driver of the double zero, the Mountain Dew, no, Mellow Yellow Dodge. Mellow Yellow, Mellow Yellow Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing Mudbone. I, how do you feel right now? You won 
five races this season. You finish sixth here today. How are you feeling right now, now that you just won the championship here in the More Freedom Series Season 4? Well, first and foremost, I want to thank my sponsors at Metal Yellow and Coca-Cola. You know, and the, 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 good, the guys at Advance Auto Parts hit me with some good car class parts, get me around the track. Uh, feels great. Feels real good. I can't even explain it. Watching it all year, seeing all these wins, and then it gets to be a nail-biter with Adam and the points. I was, I was getting worried there the last few races, to be honest with you. I was like, man, at any time, any time I'm going to go into the wall, especially, what was it, at Homestead, I think it was, when I went, I oh. wrecked, I caught that damage on my tire. That was, was like, Indianapolis. Man, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. I was like, man, I'm screwed. <laughs> So it feels good to to pull that out. And especially here at the Wishbone Attack Memorial Talladega 100%. 100, which also, also, let's shout out your teammates. The 777 of Seabass and the 666 of Pistol Pete battled lap after lap right there at the finish for Seabass pulling out this win with Pete finishing second. How to, I mean... I know there's going to be some celebrating tonight at Amish Buggy Racing. Oh, for sure. For sure. And, and, and Pete, man, that's a tough break, dude. I know you want to Talladega so bad. I, I know you did, but that was a good one-two finish, man. And, yeah. and, and we couldn't ask for anything better there. And early on, lap two, as a matter of fact, you you they had to come over the radio and tell you that Adam was involved in that caution and had da car damage on lap two and – you know, basically, you were just at that point, you just had to survive to make it to the end of this race. But you didn't just survive. You busted your ass and you drove the wheels off of that car trying to get that win, even though knowing if you basically just had a finish in front of Adam at that point. Yeah, I just wanted to get the win. Uh, that would have, you know, made it that much more special being the memorial race. But we'll take a sixth place. And, and it's a tough break for Adam today. I mean, I know it's rough starting a race and catching some damage early on. And it, it's got to be even tougher, you know, finishing like that, especially after busting hump all season and battling back and forth with the points. So, Adam, shout out to you, man. You made it fun. Speaking of, and I just want to point this out to the people at home, is that you actually completed the most laps this season of any driver, and you had zero DNFs this year. Uh, the only one that accomplished that feat, the same, the only other person that accomplished that was TC Roberts, the driver of the 11 car. He completed the same amount of laps as you and had zero DNFs. And so I, I, I feel like this year it came down to, for you, just that consistency through the majority of all the races and being able to just survive, really. Yeah, it, it literally did. I mean, there's quite a few races, man, where I'm in the back of the pack or, you know, I took damage, crappy pits, and the car just did what it was supposed to do. It got me back up there and couldn't be any more happier I, I was thinking about changing sponsors but I, I don't know man pretty good omen here going with the old days of thunder yeah so speaking of for next season i mean i can't i can't think that you know mellow yellow would drop you but hey you never know are you, you never know how are you, you how are you know. feeling you know i mean it's we've got a few months we got th like three i don't know math math months i think five months between now and the next season I think it starts in like right at the first of March, um, right around up uh, just, you know, right around your birthday. Uh, right. so, you know, maybe another birthday present, you win that Daytona race. That Daytona again, four P dude. Yeah. I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy. Well, just win Daytona. I'm happy. All right. Th th this is all more than I anticipated. Well, you know, from the commentary booth, I just want to say congratulations to you for winning the championship here in the More Freedom Series Season 4. It was so fun to call all those races, and especially those ones where you started, like we talked about in the pre-race show, uh, you started dead last. And you there was a couple times where you went from dead last to first. And the only lap you led, or you maybe you had two laps led, but only <laughs> lap you led was the last lap. <laughs> and I wouldn't even call that leading the lap, man. It was like the last, what? Last ditch feet. effort. Like, last like, ditch effort. Get it in there, man. Pull out an extra gear somehow. I don't know. 
So, well, congratulations to you, Mudbone. It is awesome to see you pull out this championship, and I'm looking forward already to next season to see what you can do. And hopefully, I mean, nobody's repeated as a champion so far in the More Freedom Series, so this is your chance for next season. I hope so. I'm bringing the trophy home, Amish buggy. There you go. Well, again, I appreciate Matt coming to uh, hang out with us. And uh, until next time, have, yes, have, have fun Have fun celebrating this win. Oh, yeah, man. Lots of yingling. All right. <laughs> I just want to say congratulations again to the double zero of Mudbone. He is your season four champion here today. Uh, very emotional Going to be a very emotional win back in the pits for Amish Buggy Racing as the 777 of Seabass wins the race here today. Mudbone wins the championship. Very special for both of those drivers. And I am so happy about Season 4. It turned out very well. And until next time, here in the More Freedom Series for More Freedom Series Season 5, take care.